Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad to see you today for another vintage perfume video. I'm so so happy to show you my new uh, discovery. We're gonna talk about three new vintage perfume I just uh, find. I just discovered very recently. I didn't know about uh, this perfume. And today we are going to talk about floral vintage perfume. You know I'm a big fan of floral perfume in general. And I'm really into white flowers for those who like know uh, and watch my videos. You know I'm talking a lot about white flowers. I really really love the white flowers fragrance. I think it's one of the most elegant uh, fragrance for, for perfume actually. Some people like uh, yellow flowers, rose flowers, I'm more into white flowers and uh, usually white flowers are really the signature of a lot of French perfume, for example uh, Chanel, Chanel they're really into white flowers um, fragrance. Uh, Van Cleef and Harpel, it's also another French um, French perfume line. They also do a lot of white flowers. I think the best, one of the best perfumes in the world are made with uh, white flowers because it's really, really so elegant and distinctive. Um, yeah, so today we are really going into uh, the flower fragrance and I want to show you three vintage perfume uh, I discover. These vintage perfumes are very very classy, very... Uh, so first they are old, very very classic, very opulent, meaning that they are very sophisticated, they are very into... we are really into the vintage smell, the vintage fragrance, so very very opulent, very sophisticated, strong perfume with a lot of like history, uh, background for very strong personality and maybe, maybe you're gonna find your new on your like your signature fragrance, your best fragrance or maybe your new perfume, who knows. Uh, but I'm so excited to show you this perfume because I'm so excited to show you this perfume because two of them for me are very, very new. I discovered them recently just, you know, by like you know, study a little bit online, randomly, like checking on Fracantica very randomly. So it has been a very, like, very new discovery for me. And I'm so excited to, uh, yeah, to, to show you this beautiful, beautiful perfume. So the first perfume we're gonna talk, um, it's a perfume I know. I already know this one. Um, I first discovered this perfume, I think it was probably seven years ago. Um, six, seven years ago. Um, how I came to this perfume, I think it's pretty simple. Uh, <laughs> um, I knew the jewelry uh, brand, I mean I knew this brand as a French uh, jewelry brand, very expensive, very luxury jewelry brand. Um, and uh, I was really interesting to know more about the perfume because most of the jewelry brand, French or like luxury jewelry brand, usually they launch their uh, fragrance line, the perfume line. And um, yeah, I wanted to know more about the perfume uh, on the perfume side. And I discovered this perfume also in one of my favorite places in the world, which was uh, Jacqueline Perfumery, Perfumery in San Francisco, which was also a place where I used to shop a lot of perfume and I discovered this perfume yeah, in this place if I remember correctly, I think it's in this place um, and this perfume, I really love this one and also I decided also to, to give this one to my sister and it was also for some time her signature fragrance she really loved this perfume for a while uh, after she moved to another of the things of a line of a fragrance of a, of a perfume but I think it was a favorite favorite perfume and at the time she was very young she was pretty much like 22 23 so she was very young when she discovered this perfume and this perfume is very very vintage meaning he has a very strong vintage smell so just to show you that even you you're young you're into 
22-21 you can still wear very vintage perfume very like strong vintage perfume there is no age I think a very good vintage perfume can be worn but like everybody okay from 20 20 years old to 50 years old so it was my sister perfume for a while so this perfume is first by Van Cleef and Arpel so Van Cleef and Arpel who for people who don't know it's a very luxury French luxury uh, jewelry brand they're still uh, in business uh, it's a very very classic very very classic brand i think it's a good investment if you are looking for good jewelry um, and they still have a very big boutique in place vendome in paris very beautiful boutique um, and yeah it's a good investment if you're looking for like um, long-term jewelry if you're looking for something very classic very iconic Van Cleef it's really like the best the best of the best and um, yeah I wish you that if you fiance if you have a fiance if you have a boyfriend I hope that is gonna yeah buy you uh, Van Cleef and Arpel it's a very iconic brand I love it it's classic elegant classic I mean eternal uh, it's been in business like for centuries now and yes it's French so I'm very proud of this <laughs> of this brand I really like love it and um, to be honest with you they also have a, a perfume uh, line they launched a perfume line few few years ago and their perfume line it's absolutely absolutely for me one of the best uh, perfume I ever smell uh, most of the perfume are very very um, good quality they smell they smell out of the world out of the world like uh, I own few of them actually in my uh, in my bathroom and they smell like divine they're really really good quality they smell divine they're super long lasting um, I own few of them from the ex collection extraordinaire so collection extraordinaire it's like the high-end um, line it's not that expensive uh, compared to Tom Ford or other very like high-end uh, high-end perfume it's not super expensive and to be honest the quality price is amazing is really amazing um, so I own few of them like uh, Muguet Blanc which is like smell like Muguet which is a beautiful white flower very very French huh? the first of May in France we used to offer Muguet it's really a French flower and it smells oh my god this one smells divine divine it's one of my best also white flower perfume I own another one which you also can see in my Instagram by the way I own one called um, Fifth Avenue so 744 Fifth Avenue which is also a very very rare very rare perfume uh, they only give you if you buy jewelry and uh, I think it's only available in the New York boutique uh, I'm not even sure if you can find this one in, in Paris I don't know but I own this one uh, I have also California Reverie which is also a very beautiful white flower and uh, yeah the signature of Van Cleef and Arpel perfume are the white flowers and it's really their, their signature, uh, their perfume signature so let's talk about this perfume um, it's a very very good perfume which remind me actually of the number 5 of Chanel because it has the same ingredient called aldehyde which is also a synthetic uh, synthetic uh, flower but it's exactly I mean the same ingredient as the number five of Chanel so it reminds me a lot of that actually because there's also a strong powdery um, vintage smell very very powdery it's a very very feminine uh, flower I will say flower um, perfume and this perfume has been launched uh, in the 17th so 1976 yeah 1976 so it's a 70s uh, perfume it's a it's an older one huh? more than 30 years old actually 
Um, and I love the, you know, I love the bottle. It's very, uh, very vintage. It never changed since we launched uh, the perfume. Um, it's like, you know, the cap is very, very distinctive. Like a lot of vintage perfume, you're gonna say uh, the cap is, the, the cap is all, all, always like very distinctive. The bottle is very, very refined, very elegant. And it's a very feminine, I will say iconic, uh, because it's one of the first, uh, it's, I think it's the first uh, perfume launched by Van Cleef and Arpel. It's the first one. So that's why it's such an iconic perfume, because it was the first perfume they launched in their collection. That's why it's called also first. Uh, makes sense. Uh, first, because it's their first perfume. Um, I got the Eau de Toilette. I don't think you have like Eau de Parfum, but it's, it's the Eau de Toilette. But it's pretty strong. I will say it's a long lasting, pretty strong smell. And uh, it's a very, very elegant, distinctive, I will say, a floral, not white flower. You can find some white flower in this perfume, but it's more like a flower uh, perfume. You're gonna find yellow flower, white flower, a little bit of rose, Turkish rose actually in this one. So it's a very, very good perfume. Um, and like I said, it was my, uh, my sister perfume for a while actually. She used to love, love, love this one. So we're gonna first to smell this perfume, which I know, I know, I used to also wear this one. It's a, it's, it's more like a day-to-day -day perfume. I think this one, you can wear this one very easily, uh, the day, the night. It's, um, it's not l very uh, loud, it's not log, it's not heady. Um, it's a very elegant, uh, elegant uh, flower perfume. So let's, let's try it. I'm gonna put on my arm actually because a lot <laughs> like usual a lot mm. ah yeah yeah it reminds me a lot a lot of a number five of Chanel because of this aldehyde uh, which is very very present and this powdery smell you know like a dry clean uh, house a little bit of sweat flower soap it reminds me a lot of a number five. I think it's a very good substitute of a number five for the price because this one it's cheaper, I think. And it has something different compared to November, number five. I think in the middle and base note for sure. The, the top note are very like the number five actually. And what's Romaine, it's pretty, pretty much different. Uh, compared to the number five, the number five is a little bit more opulent or more sophisticated, I'm gonna say. Um, yeah, the hurt notes are, are, are different, I can, I can tell you. So the top notes, are, I mean, the aldehyde is super, super present. I think it's the first thing you can smell in this perfume, which, which, which explains why I, you know, when you smell this one, you're gonna think about the number five of Chanel. But you're gonna smell the peach, the bergamot, um, the coriander, a little bit of black pepper maybe. And the middle notes are more like, the middle notes are really, we are really into the flowers. So not only the white flowers, the jasmine, the lily, with like a little bit of lily uh, in, in the notes. Uh, but more like narcissus, uh, narcissus, yacinth, ylang ylang. The Turkish rose, Turkish rose is very, very present also. I can smell it. Uh, the orchid. So there's a, like a bouquet. It's a bouquet of different uh, flowers. So not only the white one, but you're gonna find different type of flowers. Um, it's a very, very nice bouquet of, of flowers. And the base is maybe more like, probably a little bit more oriental than uh, the, the number five. That's the difference compared to the number five. I'm not gonna say the number five is an oriental perfume. It's not an oriental. And even in the base notes, I don't think you're gonna find a lot of oriental notes. But in this one, there's some no oriental notes. I can smell the musk, the amber, um, the sea which is very present, the vetiver also. The Ocmos, there's also Vanilla. I smell the Vanilla, which is very present. Uh, the Tonka Bean also, so there's more like Oriental notes. 
Um, so, flower, flower perfume, a very, very good perfume because first they are very, very feminine. Uh, so you can wear this perfume day, night. Um, they are very also most of the time also sophisticated. Um, most of the time also very long lasting. I love flowers uh, perfume. I don't like too sweet uh, flower perfume. That's also something um, you know. It really depends. People are re some women really love sweet. Um, other women like more like dry you know very dry flower floral um, perfume it really depends of your taste but i'm gonna say it's what's really elegant it's when when it's less sweet and very elegant flower perfume um we're more on the dry side than the sweet um they are elegant sweet perfume but most of the time they're super easy and they can be very very loud Um, so yeah, I prefer the dry side of the floral uh, floral perfume. So this perfume is very very good. For I know the toilet is very long lasting. There's a long sillage, so meaning that uh, people are gonna smell you. It's a very elegant and very iconic iconic perfume. Uh, it was been worn by a lot of French actresses also. Um, because it was the first, uh, the f like I said, the first perfume of Van Cleef and Arpels. Um, so definitely something you, you know, to, to have in your bathroom. Uh, if, you're very, if you're a big fan of Van Cleef and Arpels, uh, and if you love also the number five of Chanel, it's a good substitute. But uh, it, it has a different type of style. I think this one is definitely more oriental than the number five. Um, yeah, definitely. But I love this one. It's a very, very good, very good perfume. Very, very good and such a classy, a, a really classic. Okay, so the, the uh, second perfume I'm gonna show you, it's a perfume I didn't, didn't know at all. So it's a big discovery for me. Um, I found this one online, you know, because I like to read reviews online. I, I like to spend some time also online. Um, a website I really like, it's called Fragantica, uh, which I use a lot sometimes to discover new fragrances. Um, I, I, love, I love to discover things, you know, vintage. There's so many, many vintage perfumes out there. So this one I didn't know, it's a very, very big discovery and I'm glad I discovered this one because it's a very classy, it's a classy, classic, iconic perfume. Apparently it's a very iconic uh, perfume just by the name and the, the, the story behind it, it's uh, super interesting. So the first, the perfume I'm going to show you, it's called Diva by Ungaro. So I don't know a lot about Ungaro perfume. So Ungaro was a fashion uh, creator, fashion, uh, you know, fashion house, very, very uh, big fashion house also in the 70s, the 80s. Uh, I think it's still there, uh, but it's most, I'm, I mean, it's less well known than it was before, unfortunately. And you can find also vintage Ungaro if you're like, a, Uh, fashionista of your log vintage you're gonna find some pieces out there online um, and it's called diva so just by the name you know diva diva the name of diva diva means in italian goddess or like prima donna the, the woman and you say sometimes we say oh she's a diva she's a diva in french meaning like she's a princess she's a goddess she's a diva And diva usually it's like a classy, a classy way to name someone who is like, you know, she has a very, very strong personality um, and she's like a princess. We usually we say, for example, Maria Carré is a perfect diva. She's a diva. Uh, she's, a, she's a diva. Um, yeah, diva, it's really like the woman, you know, the woman who like acting like she's a goddess. She's like a princess. Uh, usually we also say actresses are diva actually. It was the first perfume of uh, Ungaro, that's why it's such an, an iconic uh, perfume. It has been launched in the 80s, in 19, 
83, so this is an 80s perfume. And I love 80s, and you know, 80s was the time was like sexy woman, very strong, never very elegant woman with like bold, you know, bold uh, shoulder, bold, uh, yeah, bold shoulder, a very strong decolletage. You know, it was very a power, femme fatale, powerful woman type. So uh, you expect a very strong uh, smell. The perfume in the 80s usually they're very strong. They're not loud, but they're very, very strong, okay? They're like super, super strong, very feminine, very sharp. Most of the time, it's like that. For me, 80s perfume are like very good. Usually, they're very, very good. Um, and this one, it's like, it's a spicy sheep oriental. So it's definitely an oriental perfume. And we are into a, a spicy floral oriental perfume. Strong perfume, strong floral, strong oriental. It's such a name like Diva. And you know the shape of a bottle. So it's too bad I lost the cap actually. I lost the cap. But the cap is very, very, very beautiful actually. Very, very beautiful. The cap has a form of like, um, like a butterfly, something like that, you know, a little butterfly. Um, and you, you see the, the, the bottle is like super, super beautiful. It's a very beautiful um, perfume, very, very beautiful. And uh, the smell is, uh, yeah, the smell, is, we are more into an oriental, um, an oriental floral perfume. If you like oriental, you're gonna love, uh, love this one. It's a very sexy, rich perfume for definitely a fatal woman so i'm gonna say this perfume is for a confident very confident woman just by the name diva uh, if you a fan of maria carré or if you like maria, maria carré style this perfume is for you if you like very very sexy woman the, you or if you uh, you know a sexy woman a confident a woman a mature also woman you're gonna love uh, this perfume definitely it's a very very complex and very glamorous uh, perfume yeah I think the, if there's two, uh, two, two, two words for this perfume is sexy and glamour sexy glamour for this perfume it's definitely a uh, two name I will retain and um, and to be honest, the nose, so the nose is usually uh, the person who uh, made the perfume, who made all the ingredients we call in, in the perfume world a nose. The nose behind this perfume is the same nose as Chanel, okay? So you expect also something like, you know, Chanel, it's also for a very, very, you know, Chanel is something, you know, when you wear Chanel, you are like into, uh, you... The Chanel woman is a strong woman, very confident, uh, you know, also a little bit like sexy, there's a lot of sexiness into Chanel. Um, so it's the same nose. So you expect a very, very elegant uh, perfume, okay? It's what I, what I try to say. So let's, let's, um, let's smell this beautiful beautiful perfume so i'm gonna use my over arm actually i'm go not i'm not gonna spray on that i don't Oop. okay okay mm, yeah uh, it's a very strong vintage perfume very very strong um very sophisticated oh yeah you, okay, this perfume is really for a, con, a confident woman. Very, very bad because it's a strong smell. And we're really into a strong floral. Not white flowers, not like a strong flowers, where I already can uh, smell the rose. If you love, you know, very strong rose, Turkish rose, for example, you're gonna love this perfume. But, you know, when I smell this perfume, I picture a woman who reads, uh, who wear red lipstick, very, very, you know, very red, like, like my nails, for example, a very, very strong red, probably a red from Tom Ford or even Chanel, something super, super strong, um, who love to have, like, a, you know, very nice decolletage, um, 
who love to seduce and she's yeah she's not afraid of the feminine side she's super super sexy i picture also a woman with uh, high heels it's really the diva for me the name of this perfume really match the perfume i picture a diva a maria carey woman uh, red lipstick red nails high heels all the time um, perfect you know blow dry um it's 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 really you know i think it's a french perfume for also an american woman you know um you know the very sexy american woman but old school it's it's a beautiful vintage perfume for me this one is like a true true discovery a beautiful one beautiful one beautiful one so the top notes are more very strong. I can smell the aldehyde, which is also, for, for me, aldehyde remind me a lot of vintage perfume. A lot of old vintage perfume have aldehyde. The Chanel number no. 5 have aldehyde. You know, the first of one Cliff of Arpel I just show you have also aldehyde. A lot of vintage perfume, old perfume, classy perfume, they have aldehyde. It's really something that it's really a signature of old school uh, perfume i smell also the tuberose and the tuberose you know tuberose is very very strong i like tuberose personally i think it's 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 classy it's uh it's not ed but it's a strong it gives very a strong long lasting uh, smell to all this perfume and tuberose it's a strong powerful smell it gives a lot of depth and power to the perfume um, but it gives also a lot of oriental side of the perfume so I love the tuberose so it has a lot of tuberose I can smell it definitely in the top notes uh, a lot of spicy coriander, coriander, chinamon I can smell the chinamon which is also my one of my favorite spicy I put chinamon in everything actually in my you know my oatmeal I put chinamon in the middle notes, I smell a lot of flowers, so the Turkish rose. Turkish rose is very, very strong, so I smell the Turkish rose. I smell the Morocco, Morocco rose, so another type of rose, also very, very present. There are a lot of different types of rose in this perfume. A little bit of Ilang Ilang, but I'm gonna say the rose is super present, and rose is a very diva flower, you know? Um, this perfume, I picture this perfume with like, you know, someone who loves also red rose. This is a red rose perfume, you know, the woman with red lipstick, red nails, beautiful red bouquet, you know, red roses bouquet, which is very, very sexy, uh, very, very sexy. I, I picture, I smell the Narcissus, the Jasmine, uh, the Oris, but the rose are more, 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 more present. So it's a very, very opulent, sophisticated bouquet compared to the first of Van Cleef and Arpel. It's more opulent, it's more sexy. It's a very, very um, garnished bouquet with more rose. There's definitely more rose than the first. The first of Van Cleef have more, probably more white flowers. In this perfume of Diva, we have more rose. Rose are super, super present. And the base, in the base, I can smell the honey, the hawk moss, the iris, the patchouli, the musk. The patchouli is also present, so a lot, a lot of oriental um, notes, oriental fragrance. Patchouli is super, yeah, patchouli is definitely super, super present. Um, and I, I like it, it gives a lot of like... It gives a very like, yeah, opulent oriental side to this perfume uh, and definitely I'm gonna say this perfume uh, is more for the night um, unless you also someone who like, you know, if you like strong vintage smell, you can wear this one day, okay? Uh, but it's more a night perfume. I'm gonna say this one is more a night perfume uh, for a very sexy woman. Uh, and I picture the woman, you know, the very sexy, fatal woman with a black dress, uh, you know, high heels with like red, uh, red sole, the Louboutin, Louboutin shoes. Um, uh, yeah, very, you know, very sexy shoes, uh, red lipstick, red nails, perfect brushing, bro dry. Uh, this is a, a diva perfume. This perfume is made for, you know, 
a very confident and sexy woman uh, but it's such a beautiful very 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 well uh, construct very well built i love this perfume um i love this one it has a lot of like you know there a lot of like uh, personality a lot of lot of personality and uh, yeah you 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 remember this perfume definitely 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 i really like this one Okay, the third one I'm gonna show you is also something I just discovered. I didn't know about this one. Um, and uh, yeah, I used to love the brand, but uh, I'm not a fan of all the perfume actually, because most of the perfume I found very, very ED. I'm not a big, big fan of, uh, of the perfume because they are very ED for me very loud and uh, very oriental loud i'm not just a fan but uh, it's a beautiful discovery because um usually i prefer their vintage perfume than the new perfume so this perfume is isatis isatis by givenchy is that this beautiful beautiful bottle look look how beautiful the bottle is actually uh, very vintage. Hein? All the old perfume, um, the bottle are super beautiful. Most of the time, you don't find that in the new perfume. I don't find the same aesthetic, the same design in the new perfume. It's something I miss a lot and that's why I prefer to buy old perfume than new perfume actually. Uh, because not only because I'm old school woman, so I like very classy and chic uh, perfume but also because the bottle most of the time yeah they're more chic they're more like the design is very very different different compared to the new bottle uh, you can tell um so Givenchy perfume like I said I don't like the new uh perfume because I found them super super loud uh super like not the good oriental. Usually Givenchy perfume, it's a lot of oriental perfume. Their signature is very into the oriental. Uh, and uh, to, to, for the story, actually, uh, my first boyfriend, my first first crush, like long, long, uh, long relationship boyfriend, I was in high school. And I remember then very well that for my birthday, he offered me a Givenchy uh, perfume. Was my first perfume, uh, it's gonna, yeah, it was my first first perfume um, offered by my first boyfriend, first real boyfriend and real, you know, real relationship, real crush during high school. He offered me a perfume from Givenchy called uh, The Very Irresistible. He offered me a, um, a limited edition, so it was a very beautiful bottle with like, you know, like a little, um, like a little ruban. You know, ribbon, ribbon. It was a very beautiful bottle. It was very irresistible, limited edition with like different kind of rose from grass. It was, uh, yeah, it was an expensive one actually. And it was my first, you know, the first uh, perfume he offered me was that. Very irresistible by Givenchy. So I, I will always remember this perfume actually. Um, and it was for my birthday and you know it's a story huh? there's a lot of stories so usually I don't like new Givenchy perfume because they are very loud very oriental but not in the good oriental side very very super loud uh, too easy for me um, yeah and uh, I used to wear very irresistible uh, it was a good one actually because it was a limited edition with like different rows from, from grass. So it was such a beautiful perfume. So I wear this one for years, but I was in high school at that time. But after that, I just, you know, I completely, you know, forget uh, Givenchy perfume. Uh, I only like Givenchy perfume, the old version, the old perfume from Givenchy. So Organza, for example, which I talk in, into another video, which was my mother perfume for like, she's still, it's still the mother, my mother perfume. Organza, it's a beautiful perfume. I think it's most, for me, it's the most like, most accomplished, successful perfume from Givenchy, it's this one. I like Amarich, which is another very old uh, perfume from Givenchy. I like it. It's very strong, very, very strong, but I like this one. But the new from Givenchy, I'm not such a fine. 
Uh, I'm not like, yeah, I don't know why. I don't think they're super like very well um, construct, very well balanced. I find them very easy. I'm just not a fan. I don't think they're super elegant also. I don't know. It's like that. Um, so Isatis, it's not something I know. I don't know this one and I'm super glad I discovered this one because this one is also very good. Very elegant, very classy. Very well balanced. The knots are very, very well balanced, actually. So it's not easy at all. And I find this one super, super elegant for a floral perfume. Very, very elegant one. So this perfume has been launched in 1984. So also a vintage perfume. Also a vintage perfume. Um, and it's a very smart, distinctive, luxury, uh, luxury floral perfume. Um, very different compared to the, the two. I think there's less, probably less. Um, it's more. This one is more into the green, dry green flower. Um, probably less rose knot. Very different. Very very different, but very well constructed, very well balanced, very classy, very elegant. I really really like this one actually. Really really like this one. So um, we gonna um, we gonna try we gonna smell this one together. So I'm gonna cheat a lot because I really want to get into this perfume, which is very very different compared to the other two. Oh la la! This one is super good. It smells very very good. Oh la la, it said it smells good. It smells very good. It's very, very different compared to the first two I just showed you. But it smells super, super good. It smells good. It smells good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the paper because I'm afraid that I, I, I have the impression that it reminds me of first, of Van Cleef, actually. But I know it's very different. So I just, I don't want to know. I don't want anything messing up like together, actually. Gonna use now it's different. It reminds me of first of Van Cleef, but it's different. And we're more into a green, green, dry um, floral. There's less, probably less rose knots. Uh, the bouquet is more like green. I smell aldehyde, so there's aldehyde in this one for sure. I smell it like it's something, something I, I smell. But it's a more green, dry um, floral. It's very well constructed and this one is very, very distinctive. It's a very distinctive perfume also. Very unique. So we are more into a Chypre and you know how I love Chypre perfume. Uh, Chypre perfume, are, you know, they are very well, usually very well, well constructed. They have different kind of notes. In Chypre perfume, you're gonna find oriental, floral, green, uh, sometimes liver knot. It's a blend of very, very different notes. And most of the time, Chypre perfume for me are the most classy, elegant perfume you're gonna find. So the top note, like no surprise, I can smell the aldehyde. The top note, aldehyde. So same thing you, you, you find in a lot of vintage perfume, aldehyde. But I smell the ylang ylang, so which is a white flower. I smell the orange blossom, which I really like into this perfume. Um, the coconut, the bergamot. So the first notes are very fresh. Very fresh, uh, with like, you know, a mix of white flower, aldehyde, bergamot. I really like it. Uh, the middle notes were more into a wide, you know, a very well blend bouquet with iris, jasmine, rose. I can smell the rose, but there's also white flower in this one. Uh, I smell the tuberose, which also give, you know, a lot of you know, some intensity. Tuberose is very intense in a perfume. I love tuberose. Uh, I love tuberose. I like it. It's very strong, but I like it. I like it. Usually tuberose give a lot of intensity to perfume and it makes very well um, classy, elegant uh, perfume. And the base, it's a blend of oriental, green knot and floral knot. It's very, very well constructed. There's like One, oak moss, sandalwood, patchouli, musk, vetiver. So vetiver is a green, um, green, 
green notes, vanilla, amber. Um, I like I like this one. So this perfume is more. Uh, so it's also you know very well strong uh, perfume, but it's more mysterious. Uh, more probably more mysterious than than diva. Um, and there's more green notes. I really smell the green notes from the vetiver, the okmos. Um, more green and lighter notes than the diva. So it's, you know, it's a different woman. It's a very sophisticated woman, also very chic, chic femme fatale. But um, she's different. Uh, she's like, she probably a little bit more... Um, In a, type, in a way to seduce, she might be a little bit like more masculine, I don't know how to say, but in a good way. I don't know how to explain. It's more like, it's less femme fatale, more like a um, mysterious woman, a little bit more mysterious, um, more... Um, yeah, more mysterious. It's different. It's a very, yeah, it's a different type of woman. But this perfume is, you know, if you like, if you, if you prefer green notes, uh, green notes um, and flower notes with some kind of green notes, I think this, this perfume is, is for you. It's a, it smells super good. It smells very, very good. Um, yeah, and I will say this perfume, you can wear this perfume day or night. Uh, because it has like green notes and liver notes and uh, also fresh notes with the bergamot, uh, you can wear this, this perfume. It's more easy to wear this perfume the, during the day um, than, for example, Diva by Angaro. Uh, Diva is more a night perfume for me. Um, I mean, the, 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 you know, the notes I can smell is more for night. It's not, I wouldn't wear Diva during the day, to be honest. Uh, but this one, no problem, because of a fresh side and the green notes, you can wear this perfume uh, day or night. Uh, and night also, because it has a lot of, you know, with the tuberose, the rose, tuberose, uh, and all the bouquet, this very, you know, very garnish bouquet, you can wear this, uh, this perfume during the night. I really like this one. I really also like this one. It's a very good discovery because usually Givenchy, I'm not, not, not a fan of new Givenchy perfume. And um, even, for example, Amarige, I don't think everybody can wear Amarige. Amarige is very, very strong, very loud, actually. Very loud perfume. Uh, it's a very good one, but I don't think it's made for everybody. And when you smell a marriage, uh, you know it's a marriage. You know someone is wearing a marriage in the room. You're gonna smell it. And I know some people could be like, okay, you know, a marriage is a very, very strong, very distinctive, but very unique perfume. Um, this one is more like, you know, it has aldehyde, green notes, bare fresh notes. It's more, this one, it's, it's, it's more well blended than a marriage. Less loud, less, more elegant. So I really like this one also. I recommend also Isatis. Uh, definitely very, very good discovery. So that's it for today. Uh, this is a free floral uh, vintage fragrance I wanted to show you today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find a new perfume, new vintage perfume in, in this video. Don't forget to comment because I try to respond to every comment you left. Um, don't forget also, I mean, if you, if you already know this perfume and you used to wear this one, just let me know uh, how you wear this one, if you love them, if you don't like them. Uh, yeah, don't forget, uh, you know, don't be shy, don't forget to leave a reply. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it helped me to make new videos, to discover new vintage perfume, and I really like, you know, to see uh, new subscribers. So I will, uh, I will see you for another vintage uh, video. I wish you very, very good, pleasant uh, day. Don't forget to wear perfume. Huh? Don't forget, like Coco Chanel used to say, a woman without perfume has no future. 
So if you please, if even you stay at home or you stay at home or you, you know, you know, with the COVID, uh, put some perfume because, you know, sometimes it's just by just putting a few uh, drop of perfume and just putting perfume sometimes it makes your day like different. Uh, and uh, it's something I used to do during the COVID time. Actually, I used to wear even more perfume than before. Uh, I was aware also to, you know, I start stopping, make, you know, wearing makeup and everything. So just, you know, the perfume for me was like my makeup actually. So I see you for another video. I wish you a very, very good day, a very pleasant day. And uh, yeah, bye.